Film opens with a talk show wherein the host, whose name is Monica Brown, interviews a serial killer survivor whose face is now disfigured due to the deadly encounter on Halloween night, exactly one year ago from this day. Based on her confession, the killer was dressed in a clown get-up, and she saw him shoot himself afterwards. The host then added the chilling fact that the clown's body went missing from the morgue, before investigators could perform an autopsy. I saw it happen. We are then interrupted by Art the Clown smashing the screen, and putting on his costume. He gets some of the sharp objects ready, and brings them with him. After the show, the Monica is sitting in her dressing room, gossiping on the phone over how ugly her interviewee was. But unbeknownst to her, someone is actually lurking behind her, and is probably hurt by her words. It is revealed to be the interviewee, who comes out of hiding and attacks Monica, violently gouging her eyes out to make her as disfigured as she is. The next scene takes us to a Halloween night, where two friends, Tara and Dawn, are walking towards their car while joking around. They look a little drunk from partying. Not far from them, we see someone walking, and it turns out to be Art the Clown, who is creepily staring at them. Dawn finds him endearing on Halloween night, but Tara feels that there's something off about him. However, he disappears the next time the two look into his direction. As the night grows older, the two get hungry and decide to enter a diner. Shortly after, Art the Clown enters the same diner, and sits there at a table next to them. He continuously stares at Tara like a happy meal, while making mime gestures, which of course makes Tara visibly uncomfortable. However, Dawn isn't alerted by this, instead, she approaches him and sits on his lap, and even takes selfies with him. After a while, the clown walks up to their table, shows Tara a trick, and puts a ring on her finger, before going to the restroom. Seeing how odd Art was acting, the diner's owner decides to check on Art in the restroom. Here we learn that Art smeared his shit all over the restroom, and he gets kicked out right away. Afterwards, the two women walk up to their car to head back home, only to find that their tire has been slashed. So, they wait around while they call up Tara's sister. Back inside the diner, the employee who's tasked to clean the shit exits the restroom, looking for his boss. But to his surprise, he discovers his boss's decapitated head carved into a jack-o'-lantern. Art doesn't give the man a chance to run away, and proceeds to kill him by brutally stabbing the poor man in the face. Dawn and Tara are now inside the car, arguing about Art. Dawn is convinced that Art is a harmless guy acting in a costume because it's Halloween, but Tara thinks otherwise. Their argument ends with Tara excusing herself to go to the bathroom, and manages to convince a worker from a building nearby to let her relieve herself inside the building. Now alone, Dawn listens to the radio, where she hears about the murder of two restaurant workers, and that a dangerous black and white clown is wanted by the police. With this, she finally is able to connect the dots that Art is the dangerous clown they're referring to. But unfortunately for her, it is too late, Art has somehow made it inside the car next to her. Meanwhile, Tara just walked out of the bathroom in the garage, and suddenly stumbles upon a weird random lady. The lady is cradling a baby doll, and is treating it as if it was a real baby. Weirded out, she proceeds to the exit, but to her surprise, she finds Art creepily standing there, seemingly having padlocked the door and holding the key in his hand. As Art jumps at her, Tara retreats and begins running. She runs as fast as she could, and manages to hide for a while. Tara then finds the building's janitor, however, as she attempts to alert him, Art catches her off guard, and injects her with a sedative. The janitor is unaware of what's going on, because he has headphones on. The next time she wakes up, she finds herself strapped to a chair, and is terrified when she finds the clown sitting next to her. Right away, Art begins teasing her with different weapons, such as gliding a handsaw over her neck. Right after, Art walks up to a piece of sheet, and pulls it away, revealing Dawn being hung upside down in nothing, but her underwear. Here is where the movie gets way darker, Art proceeds to strip her naked, before gruesomely sawing her body in half, through and through. While is distracted with tearing Dawn in half, the terrified Tara struggles against her binds, and manages to break free. She then takes one of his tools, and uses it to stab Art in the back before running away. A now infuriated Art takes a knife, and comes after her. But our girl Tara readily surprises him by repeatedly beating him with a wooden plank. Before Tara could land the final blow, Art pulls out a gun and shoots her in the leg, and then again across her face. But before he could finish her off, he runs out of bullets, leaving her dying on the floor. It is at this moment that Tara's sister, 
Vicky, finally arrives to pick the two women up. She tries the building's front door, but it is locked, so she tries to call Tara. At the same time, Art is now scouring through his weapon bag for more ammo, when he hears Tara's phone ring. As he has both Tara and Dawn's phones in his possession, he decides to use Dawn's phone to text Vicky. He tells her that Tara is sick, and thus she should come around to the back. The clown then returns to Dawn and they take a selfie together, just like Dawn did earlier. After reloading his gun, Art returns to the dying Tara, and finally shoots her dead. He shoots her face again and again until it becomes unrecognizable. The crazy lady in the building watches this happen in fear, and Art comically waves at her. Terrified, she runs away to inform the janitor what's going on, but he doesn't believe her and walks away. When he heads downstairs, he hears Vicky's voice in the distance, and tries calling a co-worker to inform him that something's off. But Art sneaks behind him and hits him with a hammer, before smashing his phone. On the other side of the building, Vicky is now roaming down the halls. Meanwhile, the crazy lady discovers that her baby doll is missing, and begins to frantically look for it. She then finds Art the clown holding the baby doll, and walks up to him while sympathetically telling him that there is still good somewhere in his heart. She desperately tries to give Art a motherly embrace in an effort to beg for the return of her child. Not long after, the janitor's co-worker arrives because of the phone call from earlier, but can't seem to get in because the doors are locked. Inside the building, Vicky is getting frustrated looking for her sister, so she decides to call Dawn one more time. However this time, she could hear Dawn's ringtone, and decides to walk towards it. To her horror, she discovers Dawn's cut in half-dead body, which prompts her to bolt in fear. Right after, she hears a girl scream, and thinking it's her sister, she walks downstairs and finds a girl on the floor. Vicky rushes to help her, but suddenly finds the crazy lady with a mutilated breast and skin scalp, while the girl on the floor is actually Art, who is wearing the crazy lady's scalp. After learning this, Vicky tries to find an escape, but the windows are sealed. Art climbs upstairs to look for her, while also wearing the crazy lady's mutilated breasts. Realizing that the clown is there looking for her, Vicky hides inside a wardrobe. It doesn't take long before Art finds her, but instead of killing her, he decides to toy with her. Meanwhile, the janitor's co-worker finally finds a spare key, and enters the building. As he makes his way down the empty hall to find the janitor, he finds bloody footmarks on the floor, he tries to follow it, until he stumbles upon a bloody doll, and bends down to pick it up out of curiosity. But all of the sudden, Art sneaks up behind him, and stabs him in the top of his head, before decapitating him with another blade. Back to Vicky, she comes out of hiding, and runs for the door, but it's locked. At the same time, Art shows up riding a tricycle, forcing her to hide some more. When Art rides in the opposite direction, Vicky crosses the room and sneaks into a hallway. But then, the clown sneaks up behind her, and begins suffocating her with a plastic wrap. Not giving up yet, Vicky rips the plastic bag and escapes his grip. Before running away, she stabs a nail on his feet. Meanwhile on the other side of the building, it is revealed that the janitor is still alive. Vicky stops running when she discovers her sister's dead body, and starts to have an emotional breakdown. This presents Art with the perfect opportunity to catch her off guard, and he starts beating her with metal shards, cutting her skin and bruising her face. Luckily, the janitor comes to her rescue, and knocks Art out. As usual, he's not going to make sure that the clown is dead, so he escorts Vicky away into another room and locks it. He immediately calls 911 for help, while assuring Vicky that he's going to get her medical attention. They then exit the room through another door in an attempt to get out of the building. However, Art the unstoppable clown shows up, and beats the janitor by smashing his face. Vicky, the only person still alive, watches in horror, and tries to break the lock on the exit door. She eventually manages to break the lock, but the clown catches her from behind, so she stabs him in the eye and run away. Tara tries to retreat to the garage for safety, and manages to create a gap big enough to slide through. But Art still has enough time to grab her by the hair, and yank her to his direction. Luckily, she escapes, and the clown disappears right away. For a moment, it appears as if Art's given up, while the police sirens can be heard. But when she looks outside, the clown rams through the door with a pickup truck, hitting Vicky and knocking her unconscious. What's most sick of it all, he starts eating her face as she lies helplessly. At this point, the police finally arrive and point their gun at him. 
But before the police can apprehend the clown, he pulls out his gun and shoots himself inside his mouth, killing himself in front of Vicky who's still alive. Long story short, Art's body and the bodies of his deceased victims are transported to a morgue. However, when the medical examiner unzips his bag for autopsy, the lights there start flickering for a while. And then, it is revealed that Art, the malicious clown is somehow still alive. The coroner is strangled to death by him. The next scene takes us to one year later, where we can see Vicky surrounded by her family. But when she turns around, we see her disfigured face, revealing to us that she was the woman getting interviewed at the beginning of the movie. This also makes us realize that the whole thing about the murders was a flashback from the previous year. Make sure you subscribe to short movies and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this.